Hi, my name is Elaine Grisby, and this is my personal history project. My family is a huge part of my life. They are there for me constantly and love me profusely. This is my dad, Dwayne. My brother, Daniel. This is my brother, Benjamin, and I think he's the cutest thing ever, but I might be a little biased on that. And finally, this is my lovely mom, Christine. My brother Daniel and I tend to argue a lot, which causes some conflict, but luckily we have parents that are willing to come up with fair negotiations to keep us from fighting. My friends are an enormous part of my life, and I wouldn't trade them for anything. You could say we have a strong alliance, and I'm beyond grateful for every single one of them. Volleyball is my life and has taught me numerous lessons. For example, I've learned to communicate in helpful ways, how to make quick strategic decisions, how to trust and highlight the strengths of my teammates, how to play when I'm down, and how to accept my own mistakes. Without volleyball, my life would be pretty bland. My family's economic system, I would define as socialist because, well, I'll read the definition of socialism to you. A system of society or group living in which there is no private property. Well, that sounds like my house. And a system or condition of society in which the means of production are owned and controlled by the state. The state being my parents. Everything is controlled by my parents. And the last definition of socialism. Any of various economic and political theories advocating collective or governmental ownership and administration of the means of production and distribution of goods. And in my house, my parents distribute money, toilet paper, food, all of our basic necessities. Um, kind of like the um, socialist economic system. Well, while we're on the top of economic systems, let me tell you what I would like my family's economic system to be. I would like my family's economic system to be capitalism. And why, you may ask? Well, capitalism is an, economy, is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners or profit rather than by the state. And if my profit was used by me rather than my parents, well then I would have a lot more money because, I mean, I know it's smart to save for college and stuff, but let's be honest, that's not what I want to spend my money on. So that's what I would prefer it to be, but you know, we all have dreams, right? And now moving on to my family's type of government. I would say my family's type of government would be a monarchy. Um, a monarchy is a form of government with a monarch at the head. And my monarchs, plural, would be my mom and my dad. Um, because they kind of control me and my brothers. So, yeah. And now moving on to the type of government that I would like to have. I would like my family to be a democratic republic. A democratic republic is both a republic and a democracy. A republic is a sovereign state whose ultimate power rests in the citizens entitled to vote, who directly or indirectly elect representatives to wield that power. And honestly, if, I could, if my family could vote, for who is in power of us, it would still be my parents. <laughs> They'd win. But, you know, we still have that voting. So I think, you know, honestly, all the citizens get to vote. So when we want to go out to dinner and we want to vote on it, we can vote on it because, you know, my parents don't just automatically get to decide where we're going. We actually get a say in that. So yeah. For my primary source, I'm using my great-great-grandfather's branding iron, which reads TFJ2, which looks backwards, but when you think about it, it's actually not backwards. And I'm using that because I come from a long line of ranchers and dairymen. 
And this second branding iron is from my great, great, great grandfather, which dates back from the late 1800s, and it reads OIC. And last but not least, my favorite time period in history. My favorite time period in history would have to be the American Revolution because we gained our independence from Great Britain. Pretty crazy, right? Ah, the British are coming, the British are coming. If I were to ask you who said that, you'd probably say Paul Revere, but he actually said the regulars are coming out. A little less fun to say, am I right? Well, anyways, continuing with Revere, for about the next 90 years after the American Revolution, Paul Revere was no more famous than William Dawes or Samuel Prescott, who actually completed the Midnight Ride, whereas Revere was captured. Paul Revere was made famous in the um, 1816's poem, Paul Revere's Ride, which was written by Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Ironically, Wadsworth's grandfather, General Peleg Wadsworth, um, was Revere's commanding officer in the American Revolution, and he disliked Revere and viewed his actions later in the Revolution so cowardly, he tried to have him court-martialed, which is ironic because his, great, his grandson is the one who made him famous. Whoa.